All right, good morning. Um, that's always going to be the morning staple, as pretty much as that. Um, I try and delay the coffee talk after, though, because it just means that I wake up naturally and don't have the caffeine wake me up. Um, but the shake is the staple. It's always going to be part of my morning routine at the minute. Uh, I do actually notice, like, a couple of days when I don't have it, it just affects me. I'm just sort of out of whack. And the reason is, well, because I like a routine in the morning, helps you get prepared for the day. Um, I mean, and the shake is just really good. It's really easy. If I have a breakfast or if I have a big meal, I have to make a big thing about it. It takes me like 10, 15 minutes to eat, not let alone the cooking time and the cleanup time. This is just a jug. I drink it out of the jug, I clean the jug. I also, did you see how much kale I put in it? You're not gonna, I'm not, there's no way I'm eating that much kale Otherwise, same thing with healthy fats. Um, I'm just struggling at the minute to get healthy fats in. This is a really good way. I'm not struggling, I just don't eat healthy fats during the day, don't think about it. Um, whereas with this, it sets me up perfect and I get real hungry around lunchtime and then I, you know, I've got it's time for some good food. Um, but this keeps me over. I'm not really too hungry in the mornings mostly. So, And even if I am, this fills me up. It's really good. Um, I'm not a shake salesman, I'm just saying, it's really good. Uh, hopefully we're going to enjoy this little vlog today. Um, came back into the routine, uh, just like people that don't, you know, when you spend some time out of the gym, it takes some time to get back into it. It's my little intro week vlog. So meal two is always eggs, and here we go again. We've but this one we've got like a I guess it's like a Greek omelette, except it's not an omelette, it's a scramble. Um chickpeas, what else we've got feta in there. Well you saw me make it, but I put hummus on one side and sauerkraut on the other, should be good. Um again, same two meals. Are you seeing a theme here? Shut up. Right, so this afternoon involved an incredibly boring hour or so uh, with Raz helping her pay her taxes, which was, yeah, so, so boring. You guys don't want to come along to that, so yeah. Stocked up on that awesome omelette slash scrambled eggs thing before that though, so it felt pretty good the whole way through. And then I've had, just got home and had some of these. Dry roasted edamame spicy wasabi. Basically like wasabi peas, but the macros on it are like really solid. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna make it so that you can. So just had a little bit of that and then I'm gonna have a little snack, I think, I don't know what. All right, so there was literally nothing that I wanted to eat in the house. So I've gone out and we're probably gonna grab a protein bar. This is why, this is why you have to prep on Sundays, not Mondays, because today is Monday and we're planning on prepping this evening a little bit, but because we're waiting to plat, prep, plat, huh? Monday's been sort of cast away, so I think I'm just gonna grab a protein bar on the way to the gym, and then that might replace my shake, but we'll see, we'll see. You'll know, you'll know what's gonna happen. All right, so what did we find? Power bar, protein, protein plus power bar, 30 grams of protein, I think it's like 40 carb, so should be really good uh, i don't have it right as i work out so i'm gonna be about 40 or so minutes before i start warming up yeah so this session is gonna be a intro session slash deload um, i've written written i guess i have written but i've also done a video before about how intro cycles are possibly better than deloads especially for the mental game of uh training uh if you want to see that that's up here if you'd like to me to do a video explaining exactly, going in depth about why we deload and what the benefits are, give it a thumbs up and just let me know in the comments below because I can do that as well because uh, I'm going to be deloading all week.
yeah, so that was a good session. Uh, just a deload, you know, so it's not going to be too hard. Worked up a little bit of a sweat, a little bit of a pump. Got a good bit of work done, but nothing that's going to be too taxing at all. So I should be pulling myself now at the fatigue dumpster, if you will. Um, and because it was only a deload, the intra workout shake only has about 40 grams of carbs, about 25 grams of protein. And I'm not going to have a big meal after this. Actually, we're just going to go out and eat with some friends. So don't know if I'm going to be able to track it. Don't know if I'm going to be able to film it, but we shall see, shan't we? All righty, we are back from the friends dinner. Um, what do we have? We had to eat lots of beef. Uh, there was some roasted chicken. We had... I had a lot of bread, there was casserole as well. Um, kind of, I'm gonna flip it over this. I, I filmed a little bit, but I forgot to film it until the end. It was really, really good food. Uh, a glass of wine as well. I mean, I didn't eat much during the day, as, as, as you saw. You know, it's only, I left myself a good, well over 100 grams of carbs to eat. And, you know, it's, it's not a precise science, particularly on a deload week, because you're not working as hard, but you, you still, you want to preserve the muscle, you want to preserve that strength, so you still need to eat enough, uh, so you shouldn't really be losing too much in a deal every week, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it was just good food, good times to be had. The only issue is we're back and it's now well, 11.30, so straight to bed, and because we all know sleep is really important. But actually, before I go to bed, I'm obviously going to go grab good old trusty uh, milk. Uh, vitamin D milk is only because it's I think it's the cheapest one I can get um, but yeah gonna have that go to bed thank you so much for watching this rounds out the video if you've got to the end give it a thumbs up uh, I know some people like the training videos some people like the nutrition videos I kind of combine the two in this um, and I do enjoy the vlogging style it's just it's a little bit more effort to do but I'm, I'm happy to do it it's in quite enjoyable doing this stuff so hopefully you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up any questions or anything you'd like to see in future videos comment below or just comment anything any observations i like interacting with everyone that watches these videos and i'll see you guys in the next video